You guys keep asking, so I guess you shall receive. Do you guys keep asking for another video on the bulkhead for the square bodies whenever you're doing an LS swap, like the right way to wire it? And some people got like misinformation off of what I was saying. So I have a bulkhead from a square body here at the shop and I've done taking it off. We're gonna put it on the workbench so you can actually see which wires do what and what goes where and whatever. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go over your, to your workbench and you wanna, you wanna clean off all the empties and you want to wire up your bulkhead. All right, so here on the bulkhead, you got columns down this side, and you have columns right here down through the middle. Hopefully you can see that. But we're only going to worry about these two columns. I'm only going to worry about these two columns. So we're going to ignore these two wires. I added the, those wires. These are my 12 volt battery supply for the ECU and the relays and whatever. Fuse, the fuse panel, whatever. So from the factory, you have this wire right here. It's the first wire. This is your 12 volt battery positive. Then you go over one column and down. You want to ignore these wires here. Over one, over to one column, and you want to go down to this first wire right here. This is going to be your second battery positive. It's pretty much these two would get wired together and from the fact that they have a fusible link. And then with these two, since these are my 12 volt battery positive for the computer and whatever else that needs that thing to run. So back to the second column, right underneath this wire. All right, so your next wire down, this is your starter wire. This wire originally is purple. Uh, it was all discolored or whatever and chewed up. So I put a new wire in here with new pins. So that goes to your starter. That's what turns the truck over. You know how a starter works, so. And then right underneath that wire right here, this wire originally would have gone to your ignition coil for your distributor because this here is your switched power where you have 12 volts when you turn the key on and you have 12 volts while you're turning the key as you're starting it, it holds 12 volts. But when you turn the key off, 12 volts goes away from this wire. That's what kills the computer and it's what shuts the truck off. And then this one here, this is another one you need to ignore. I added this for the fuel pump. So I pretty much tucked all the wires and stashed them all up underneath the dash with the other fuse box and then the new fuse box and relays or whatever for the for the ECU are all up under the dash. That's what these wires here are for. So that's pretty much all you need to know for that. Um, this wire here I believe used to go to your oil pressure for your gauges. This one here I believe used to go to your alternator for your gauges. This gets this grabs power off the alternator so you can see how many volts the truck's running. These two here, I'm unsure of. I cannot remember what these go to. But I do know this green wire right here. What's left of it anyways. That's your other factory gauge wiring for your uh, temperatures. Or your temp gauge or whatever. So that's pretty much it. So basically you just need this wire this wire, this one, and this one. So these are your battery power. This is 12 volt constant, and then starter. And then this one here is your key on power and power while cranking, if that makes sense. All right, so that's pretty much it. Just let me know in the comments if it helped any. If not, I'll go back, I'll just delete this video completely, and I'll redo it. Oh, and I will post, throw up a screenshot of the bulkhead, and I'll try to label everything out. If not, I'll actually have it drawn out for you or whatever works.